What we just learned moments ago about an armed deputy who arrived at the building as the shooting was taking place. And tonight, the president standing by his suggestion that some teachers in this country be armed, suggesting highly trained ones who might get bonuses for having a weapon and being ready to respond. The reaction to this idea has been swift tonight, and we have it all covered, beginning with ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Today, President Trump declared a way to stop what he called the horrible plague of school shootings, getting teachers who are trained to use firearms to bring their weapons to school. Instead of advertising, this school has no guns, we are gun free, you let the people know the opposite. You come into our schools, you're going to be dead, and it's going to be fast. This comes less than 24 hours after the president heard from families affected by some of the deadliest school shootings including Andrew Pollock. His 18-year-old daughter, Meadow, was one of the 17 killed at the Stoneman Douglas High School last week. How many schools, how many children have to get shot? It stops here with this administration and me. It's, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna sleep until it's fixed. And I'm pissed, because my daughter I'm not gonna see again. She's not here, she's not here. And then a plea from Sam Zeif, who understand. lost his best friend. I turned 18 the day after. Woke up to the news that my best friend was gone. <laughs> and I don't understand why I could still go in a store and buy a weapon of war. President Trump surveyed the group on the idea of arming teachers. Does anybody like that idea here? Does anybody like it? Right? Yes. For Meadow, your beautiful Meadow. We talked about that. Um, and do people feel strongly against it? Anybody? Anybody? Strongly against it? All right. I mean, I can, look, we can understand both sides. Huh? And certainly it's controversial. But we'll study that along with many other ideas. This morning, the president seemed somewhat conflicted. First tweeting, I never said give teachers guns then clarifying that he meant teachers with military or special training experience, only the best. By this afternoon, he was portraying the idea as the solution to ending mass shootings once and for all. I think a concealed permit for having teachers and letting people know that there are people in the building with guns, you won't have, in my opinion, you won't have these shootings because these people are cowards. He even suggested giving bonuses to teachers willing to bring concealed weapons to school. They have to go to training, I would say, every six months or every year. They have to have a, a fairly, you know, really a rigorous course in what they're doing. And they should be paid extra money. Those teachers should be paid extra money. So they get a bonus, and they'd love getting that bonus, too. And it would be much less expensive than the guards. It wouldn't look bad. You know, if you have guards, it looks like you have a, an armed camp that would look terrible. The president said he's talking about 20 percent of all teachers. That's roughly 700,000 people. How is that practical? How is that wise to have 700,000 well, more think, firearms? I think, I think when schools? you have a horrific situation like you had last week and some other school shootings that we've seen, these horrible tragedies, what we think and don't think is practical can change. The NRA has already come out firmly against another idea floated by the president, raising the legal age to buy rifles. They're allowed to buy them at 18. So how does that make sense? How does that make sense? So. I say that it should all be at 21, that the NRA will back it, and so will Congress, and so will the Senate. The president calls the NRA patriots, suggesting he'll convince them to support raising the age. But today, NRA leader Wayne LaPierre accused gun control advocates of exploiting the tragedy. What they want are more restrictions on the law abiding. Think about that. Their solution is to make you, all of you, less free. So let's get to John Carl with us live tonight from the White House. And John, the president sticking by his idea that some teachers be armed in this country. And today the president talked about those who were in his job before him who he said did not take action. Of course, most recently, President Obama tried very hard to get Congress to pass gun control measures. He failed in that effort. But now you see President Obama, former president, out there encouraging these students who are marching and protesting for new gun laws. He said in a tweet today, we've been waiting for you and we've got your backs.